The movie Melancholy Fantastic or A Doll in the Dark is a 2016 movie thriller that stars Amy Crowdis and Robin Lloyd Taylor and was directed by Alejandro Daniel. I found out about this movie because of a fan vid made by Spellbound, so you better check out the channel. I got interested in this movie because of Robin Lloyd Taylor. I love him so much as Oswald Cobblepot in Gotham. Anyway, what got me more invested in the movie is that it's not just another thriller. This is one of those movies that has a slow pacing, so most of the movie viewers get bored and maybe won't finish it. But for me, it really is a great movie, for it has a deeper meaning. The movie starts off with Melanie Crow, portrayed by Amy Crowdis, who is living alone because her mother just died a year ago. She keeps talking to a porcelain doll as if it was her mother. The purple necklace I promised you. That should cheer you up, right? And somehow it talks back to her. No sharp objects. And then she meets this guy named Duken, played by Robin Lloyd Taylor, and they form a special bond. Melanie keeps acting really weird. And even Duke can notice that. <laughs> That's creepy. But he still befriends her. Then the ending shocked me. <coughs> and I was like, what? Why? So then I decided to watch it again and I finally understand it. You see, Melanie is suffering from grief in the whole movie and wasn't able to move forward. It all started with her dad dying in a car accident. That event sets her mother into depression and led her to commit suicide. This made Melanie into a mess and decided to create a world of her own to escape from her tragic reality, making this porcelain doll her mother and creating a friend named Duken. Yep, it was revealed in this scene. What does your name mean? I told you, my... Danish, it's Danish for doll. It turns out that Tuken was just her imagination the whole time. You see, this world that she created was based off the book that she was reading called The Stranger. All of these events led her to the five stages of grief. First is denial. In the first few moments of the movie, Melanie keeps talking to this porcelain doll as if it was her mother, not dealing with the fact that her mother was dead already. Then there's anger. When Melanie was fixing the porcelain doll, they got into an argument which is probably just in her mind, and she angrily cuts off its paper fingers. Then there's this one where Melanie found the house all trash with the doll just laying there, but really it was her who done it. She even got mad at Tuken about that bird, which symbolizes her mother's death. Hey, what, what are you talking about? Look. How could you? Next is depression. Melanie seemed to cut herself off to other people in the world around her. She was alone all the time. She even loses her appetite and just keeps eating this snowball, PB&J, and an expired milk. She even harms herself with a blade and so on. Then, next is bargaining. In a scene of the movie, Melanie asked the doll this. Please don't ever leave me. Then, the scene with Duken where she found out about the bird. Just trying to what? I was just trying to give you some hope, that's all. I don't know, I, I, I really did see a bird fly away. I... And the last was this one. I don't know, just hoping. Hoping. It's all just a bad dream, I guess. Finally, Melanie reaches the last stage of grief, which is acceptance. Melanie, with the help of Duken, puts the doll away and birthed it, finally letting go of her mother and accepting the fact that she was really gone. This is also the first time that she cries after her mother's death. Then, of course, her killing Duken is just her accepting the fact that he is not real and was only her imagination. The end of the movie shows Melanie happily going back to reality and starts socializing with other people again. She finally accepted that her mother was really gone and she has to move on with her life even if it's hard. The ending along with the song Envy by Digital Taggers really keeps a melancholic feeling. I hope you guys watch this movie because this is really underrated and deserves to be praised.